Recently, I posted a video showing everything that was added in the newest Brookhaven update, which is where we got this huge medieval castle. If you look at it, it feels like a regular castle, right? But that's where you're wrong. It actually hides tons of stuff from us. So why don't we have a look at secrets about this update that I know for sure that you don't know. But since I still don't know what was recently added, I'll get my phone and watch some videos on that topic. This one seems to be exactly the kind of video we're looking for. Of course, it shows the castle. He shows us downstairs so we know about the dungeon down there. He even grabs the axe from the table to show the newly added animations. Now, where's the cool update secrets? All that the guy showed is for sure in the game, but it's not really secret. But he's right. I really like these animations. This one's about the location of the safe of the castle. As he gets into it, he goes straight to the library and clicks the candles on the left. With that done, the bookshelf opens up and he can see the safe waiting for him there. Well, well, we gotta figure out if that's actually the case. Click that candle, and yeah, look at it right there. Who did you hear? Now that's a good secret to know. Good thing that we know where the safe of the castle is now, since I found this one right here. Oh, it's all locked up. I fell in the moat. Let me just scoot out of there. How am I even supposed to get in there now? Oh, I have an idea. We'll get a bed and place right there and see if we can pass to the other side. Easy peasy. I love these bugs that work everywhere. Here's the candles, and there's her safe. Let's grab our trusty C4 real quick. Make it explode this thing up in there. All the moolah is ours. I'm probably one of the only players right now that knows where this safe is. According to this guy's video, the castle has secret passages. He looks to be on the second floor right now. He seems to go to the second left room. Then just literally goes through the painting next to the bed that takes him to this picture. Which makes him quite a bit confused. So let's try that thing and see if it's not fake. We need to go to the second floor. This one has a bunch of rooms. This is the blue one. In front of it is the red one. But this seemed to be the one that was on the video. It's actually one with a white bed. Now if we try to go into this picture right there. Whoa! I can't believe it's here. Why is there a picture of a black knight and a horse hidden in here? Wait a minute. Can we click it? Whoa! What was that sound? Can someone please explain to me? I actually can't believe that one's true. I wasn't expecting that. Remember the sound I heard when I touched that picture? If I remember correctly from a prior video, here in Brookhaven's library, we should be able to find a red book hidden in here. Or at least it should be here. But it's probably because we forgot to do a little step before that. Which is that we need to go to the second floor of the hospital. Yes, inside. The abandoned part of it that's always all rusty and dirty. That doesn't matter though. We just need to find this paper. We just need to click it until it catches fire. Totally normal stuff. After that's done, the book should be there now. Let's see. Okay, great. It is here. As we get it, there's also a very weird sound that plays. It's not the same one we heard in the castle, but still pretty odd. Something interesting, though, is that we haven't only seen that picture in the new house. If you don't know the Brookhaven Museum, there's tons of stuff about the city's history here. There's pictures that seem to be of kings and queens. And right there is one that's exactly the same horse knight that's hidden inside the castle. I'm just really not sure what that means at all. But if any of you know anything more than that, leave it in the comments below. This one seems to show us a secret inside the auto shop. That's fun. She seems to go right up to it, even if it seems to be over its older location. She sits on the green bike and goes over to the back room. After clicking the mop, a whole secret passage opens up for her. Wait, really? But this video feels so weird to me. Maybe because the auto shop she was in was actually beside the fire station. But as you can see, it's nowhere near here. Like if that video was old. Now if you look back on the video it makes sense since this one's actually from June 2021. In a little while it'll almost be three years old at this point. That's so weird. But I'll confirm it to you. That's why I'm at the auto shop. I sat on the motorbike so let's go to the back room just like she did. You can see that there's not a mop nor anything on this wall anymore. It has been removed from this space for a while now. So we had no luck with that. I'll even kill some curiosity by getting a bed inside this wall and showing you guys the other side. As you can see, that's just a solid wall. They have removed that place for quite a while now. Now to show you guys what it was, I got into an older version of Brookhaven's map. You can see by how different the 
spawn area looks. Here you'll even see whenever some stores weren't even added. But let's focus as we want to discover what's going on with the auto shop. So let's get in there and see if it's here. Wait, where is it? It should actually be in here, right? Since that map didn't work out, I got into another one that's even older than that one. But I think this one's such an oldie that there's almost nothing added still. The auto shop didn't even have that name. It was only a dealership before, which was pretty damn ugly. They didn't even have the classic green motorcycle. And since those still didn't work, here I am in another old map I found. Now this one does look exactly like the video's one. The motorcycle is in its place, so that's a good sign. The curtain's also here, so- Oh, thank gosh! It's here! So let me show you what I was trying to do. Here's what I've been trying to show you guys for about two maps now. For some reason, this whole room has been removed for a bunch of updates. I don't know why. I love this place. Let me show you around. There's some guns we can find in these little tables from both sides of the room. They even have security cameras in this place. If you pay closer attention, they are for both the police station and Brookhaven's bank vault, which is sus. So if you don't understand what it was used for, it was basically a headquarters for the criminals of Brookhaven to hide and scheme in. Apparently, this girl is gonna show you how to appear premium in Brookhaven? According to her, we can't use simple clothes. She even puts on some nicer looking clothes. Okay, I won't argue. She also says that we shouldn't use the skate and go for the scooter as it's a lot nicer looking. Probably because it looks more modern. I'm not sure what she meant by not using simpler clothing since here's what I always use. Maybe I'm just not sure my clothes are gonna show on premium. But in the avatar editor, there's tons of stuff to wear. One of them is literally the shirt I use. So I don't feel like I have to change that. She also told us that instead of using the skateboard, which is the one we're using right now, she said we should actually try using the scooter because it's more modern and pretty, which I guess looks premium. I'm not sure I get this one. Since the scooter, it's literally a free vehicle. It's literally on top of the menu. You'll know quickly that this is in something premium. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure that made sense at all. According to her, we should also go ahead and use a house that feels premium. She compares this one that's an actual premium one with this one that has a design kind of like the other, making her look like she has a premium house, I guess. Apparently, she also says that something that only premium players do is go to the salon in that chair right there, not any other one, and then changing her hair color. Why would only premium people do that? This is the house she was talking about which is one of the free ones you can get. Now on this side is the premium one she showed us, which as the name suggests, needs premium to get. Well, if you look at them side by side, you can maybe fake it a little bit. I can see that. Whoa, what's going on over there? There's an excavator on fire going crazy on our neighbor's street, like it's gonna destroy everything. Dude, what are you trying to do? Leave these houses alone. I'm really not sure how he's able to make it go like that though. Another thing the girl from the video said for us to do is that only premium players use these machines to paint your hair? We also need to use this exact one right here. But of course that's nonsense, since any player can literally come over and do that as they please, just like me right now. I didn't have to pay to use it at all, so that doesn't make any sense to me. So that's a bunch of secrets for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below if you know any more secrets I didn't show here today. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now right now. I won't hide them from you. Why don't you go follow my Roblox profile as well? It's at NandoYT. If you do that, you'll be able to play in the public games I'm in as well as it helps you keep up to date with everything I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox coming right at you. Have a good one!